Get your special horoscope for the year ahead 2020 at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. Now, this is a big, bold, beautiful month that a lot of people have been looking forward to. And that is because of the divine meeting of Saturn and Pluto. Now, this for you is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships and groups you belong to. There are other planets around at the same time activating Saturn and Pluto, mainly the Sun and Mercury. And so it is this very area that is coming into your awareness and represents a real moment of truth for you. However, what we are going to have under the same sky is a lunar eclipse. And I think that this actually is going to serve as a more emotional point. Whereas things are happening with friendships and groups for you and other people, it is ultimately what's happening with your heart, with your understanding of what you really want, of what joy and happiness genuinely mean for you. Well, it is gonna be these very areas that are informed by your interactions with other people at this time. Ultimately, with this lunar eclipse, you are getting in touch with what it is that you are passionate about, what it is that you really want to do, what your truth really is, what is your genuine creative expression, where is it that you feel lit up like a big kid, but also, yes, if you want children or you have children, chances are they're going to come into focus at this time. Now, whether it is as a result of your friendship connections that you're being asked to take these very areas into consideration, or whether it is that your associations with others are informing your understanding of what you want and what's possible for you, well, these are some possible ways in which this energy can show up for you now. One thing is for sure though, if you tap into this, this can be a powerfully creative time for you, a time of focus and dedication and fulfillment on a heart level as well. But it is an eclipse and of all the signs out there, you might find yourself especially emotional with the energy at this time because it connects so deeply to what it is that you are truly wanting, what it is that feels like it is going to grant you happiness. Now, I would say this as well. Saturn is very much about what you earn. Pluto there, meeting Saturn in the sky, well, it amplifies that energy that much more. The fact that these two planets are standing across the sky from this lunar eclipse, well, it tells me that this isn't a time necessarily of wild gains. And so it is best not to do things like gambling <laughs> because this is a part of the sky that does connect to gambling as well. But where it is that you are strategic, you can absolutely make gains at this time. I would also say with this energy, it's best not to be looking in one specific direction at one specific person, at one specific group to be part of uh, fulfilling your heart's desires, fulfilling your wishes. Rather, it is a more important time for you to be open, to see where it is that your happiness could come from, where it is your luck could come from, and allow it to find you. It is where it is that you are looking in one specific direction that not only do you limit the avenues from which great things can come, but also that may also be the way in which you set up some disappointment. And so in order to avoid that, it is better, it is more empowered for you to focus on matters of what it is you really want, to focus on your own creative expression, to focus on the joy that you feel in the company of the children that you love. It is in those spaces that you will find power, direction, and purpose. You know, I was remembering once reading an article and um, it was from a writer. I don't remember her name right now, but she's actually done quite a bit in the world of writing. And she happens to have four children. And uh, she said that she went to a presentation of another writer, a popular up and coming writer. And uh, when they asked her, why do you think you are so successful? This uh, young woman in her 20s said she believed that she had made the gains she had because she chose not to have children. 
And uh, this woman, this writer, who herself had four children, thought that that was a very interesting interpretation of uh, the success that she had experienced in her life. So she goes on to talk about, and something I've actually seen in a lot of people, and that is there are people who are better as a result of the children in their life, who actually do well and do better because they chose to have children. But then there are also those people who are totally the other way, right? Who know that that might not be for them or they don't really want that, might have mixed feelings around having children. Now, regardless of where you fall in that spectrum, I'm not saying that any one is better than the other. But what I am saying is this may be a time when you are taking these very things into consideration. For some of you out there, whether it is that you are deciding and coming to a clarity as to your reproductive choices, or whether it is that you are coming to a space where you are finding yourself feeling more connected to the wisdom of the choices you already made, that certainly can be part of the energy of this time. With eclipses though, it is very much about surrender, about going with the flow and seeing where it is and how it is the universe wants to present you with some important spiritual understandings at this time. I'm not saying that there's one choice that's right or one choice that's wrong, far from it. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is this is a time for you to connect with what is true for you. We are all different people and we all have our own answers. And this is a time when you start to get more clear as to what your unique answers are going to be. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is happening in the sign just before yours. Now, I think that this can be a place of power. On the one hand, for you, this is a part of the sky that your sign has a natural correspondence with because it is connected uh, to what is happening on very deep levels of soul and psyche and spirit. And it is this connection that you innately already have that you are exploring more fully in this lifetime. So this very part of you, this more mystically inclined part is going to be especially lit up at this time. Now, this particular new moon is speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. This is fascinating to me because what this says is awareness. It is like in an instant, you feel as if you have woken up, the light comes on, you have a realization, you have an appreciation. Now, this could be related to a sibling, cousin, or neighbor that a secret is revealed, but it could just be information in general that finds you that maybe wasn't intended for you, but ultimately brings that sense of surprise into your life. It is going to be Chiron that is speaking in harmony with this new moon as well. I find that connection very encouraging at this time because it is that very connection that says whatever may be transpiring, it might also be a time of some karmic reward, a time when you are moving towards greater prosperity based on the things that you've already put into place. When we have energy like this, there's not a whole lot you need to do to move yourself towards greater prosperity. Rather, it is something that has a way of finding you, whether it's new opportunities or new ideas. They can come to you now in a way that feels positively healing. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I am so very happy to report to you that it is gonna be in the middle of the month that Venus will enter your sign. This happens about once a year. Venus will move through your sign for about four weeks, and it tends to set up a really nice cycle where it comes to romance and love. At the same time, though, that lunar eclipse is connected to flirtations of all kind, and so, yes, there may be flirtations now that are part of what has you feeling things very deeply. If you are open to meeting someone new, this can be a time when a flirtation feels especially uh, karmic, especially timed in a way to help you to get in touch with the desires of your heart. At the same time though, once Venus enters your sign around the 13th of the month, well, that is when you really will be feeling the love. Venus in your sign acts as a magnet and Venus loves being in your sign as well. It truly is a very beautiful placement for you to feel as if you truly have options available to you in matters of love.
For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I feel like that eclipse is going to be a real moment of truth as to who this person is. It may be that a friend or someone that you're connected to on that level gives you information about this person. Uh, whether it is surprising, whether it is uncertain, it does look like it gets a rise out of you. Um, but regardless, it is going to be a time when you are looking at the depth of what it is you may feel for this person or not. And this energy is very all or nothing. So either you're all in or you're not. At the same time though, once Venus enters your sign, it is that much easier to experience loving moments wherever you are, including in dating this new person. For those of you who are in an established bond, I just love Venus in your sign. I think this is beautiful energy for you to tap into. It is this very energy that promises that you are gonna be moving in a direction of feeling loved right where you are. Venus in your sign can make it feel as if your partner is able to be that much more uh, sweet with you, that much more generous with you, as if you are able to enjoy the love that you share right now. And Venus in your sign, really, it can put all uncertainties behind you as you enjoy the love that the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I'm gonna say Venus in your sign. That really is a lovely energy. When Venus moves through your sign, it tends to be a really nice time uh, to make changes or play with your aesthetic. So whether that is new hair color, whether that is new wardrobe, uh, but for others, it might be things like tattoos or cosmetic procedures. They have a better chance of going well and going in a direction that you love when it is that Venus enters your sign. Now that is of course all else being equal. We want other things to be supportive as well. But yes, as a general principle, Venus in your sign is a good time for you to pamper yourself, for you to beautify yourself, and to just celebrate who you are and your unique beauty. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the 2020 special horoscope for your sign coming up right now. And you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2020. This is your special horoscope for the year ahead. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is one of those moments where it can feel as if everything changes and changes for the better. This year is the start of a brand new chapter, not only for the collective, but certainly for you as well. Let's take it one at a time. I'm gonna start with January because in January, we have big astrological events taking place that a lot of people are looking forward to and talking about. So on the one hand, we are going to have a lunar eclipse taking place right around the 10th of January. And then we have this conglomerate of planets getting together, perfecting their connection right around January 12th, mainly the big place.